this time on Fishing and Adventure. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. It's a classic late start to an FNA adventure as we leave our HQ in Hamilton and make our way over the Kaimais to one of New Zealand's most accessible spots, Tauranga. Situated in the Bay of Plenty, Tauranga has a very productive harbour fishery and the coastal fishing can be first class, although it's also a very fickle part of the country to fish. Our mission started with a launch after dark and a sleep in the boat in the harbour, which gave us the chance to make our way out to one spot which continues to keep us on our toes, Mare Island. Mare Island is very well known for its kingfish, and with a Christmas barbecue planned for the next day, we needed a decent amount of kaimoana to take back and feed the masses. Although the main objective is for us to get a feed, there has to be a challenge, and so this week's challenge is for each of us to land a 20 kilo kingfish. Are they there, Mick? They are there, mate. We'll hook them up. Matter of time. Come on. Trying to get these uh, liveys, because that's where the uh, every good adventure starts. For us anyway out here, targeting kingies, got to get the liveys. So we're going to put in a bit of effort here, give it as long as it takes to fill these tanks up with some premium live bait before heading out to the kingy grounds. How's that sound, Mick? That sounds very, very good, mate. It's been a little while since I targeted a king, so pretty Ooh. Are you excited? Amping. Amping. Yeah. We know this place has some big We ones. know they're here, exactly. They'll be here. It's just hopefully that switch is going to be on today. It will be on. Be no consequence. Yes. Come on now. Most offshore reefs around the North Island will hold kohiru, and it's often a case of putting some burley in the water and getting them into a frenzy before they'll commit to a bait or lure. Yep. Oh. You see what you have to do? You have to strike. So they grab that jig and they spit it straight back out again because it doesn't taste like anything. Even they do, even they do it with bait. It has to keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Yeah, just, oh. Just swallow it. Yep. Exciting. Someone got the net for me? Uncle Dave's got it. Oh, coming around. Got the kettle on and the net going. Yes, oh, and out comes the hook. Oh, gorgeous. Beautiful koheru. Oh, oh, oh. And that's what we're here for. That's a beautiful size as well. Look at that. Straight in the live bait tank. And uh, hopefully we can load up on these guys. Because as we all know, kingfish absolutely love them. So they're a fantastic livey. And uh, quite easy to catch when you get up nice and early like this, eh, Mick? Yeah. It's not like us. It's not like us. <laughs> we're up well before the sun. Yeah, this usually struggling to catch them, but no, it should be. It's definitely going to make for a good start of the day, that's for sure. Another technique that works well for these kohidu is the little bit of bait, nice small hook, and very light leader. So that's 15 pound fluorocarbon, and you can even go smaller than that as well, but. We'll just pitch this in, right there, and then just be ready as soon as they grab it. Little jag like that. Yeah. And you got them. Don't drop them, Mixie. You want a hand? Give them the swing. That's a goodie. Yeah, swing yeah. them in. Beautiful. Too fish. good. You've got to make the most of them when they're on the two. They're on and off. It's not always hard and fast. Now, I'd like some help from someone, but no one's offering help it. Help me! Uh, here comes David. You have to ask it on a wetsuit. Yes, David, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tank full of liveys. Two tanks, in fact. Anchor's coming up. She's on to the kingy grounds. Sun's only just come up as well, so quite a good start for us. So with the tanks full of live bait and the tackle bag full of quality jigs, we're pretty confident we can get onto our target species and hopefully nail that 20 kilo challenge size. All right, and she's stacking up. So the sounder is showing us what we need. We've got bait here, bait here, and these larger marks here. We zoom in on those. They are all our kingies. Very, very good sign. Not big balls of bait, but the kingfish are there. So if we can put our liveys and or jigs in front of them, hopefully that'll be a uh, good chance for us to hook them up. 
and more sign coming through now. So just sounding around the reef. It's a large area. Plenty of reefs and pinnacles out here at Mare. They often all have fish at different times of the year, but uh, yeah, it's just a case of having a sniff around. Yeah, that right there. It's even better sign. Mickey, are we rigged up, dog? Yep, rigging up. Probably gonna need one sinker at this depth, I think. Oh, yeah, sweet. Lock and load, bruv. Sick. Oh, yeah, fish. it doesn't look that big. You can just see the fin, but it's a big shark. Yeah, it's a big boy. It's coming in for that bait. That's all we needed. I'll leave my live and see if he'll come in. Get another bit of bait there. Get him, bring, bring him in. Here he comes. He's coming to have a sniff. Oh, it's Ooh. a beast. <laughs> I think it's a big marker, yeah. Yeah, it's a big ass marker. It's big though, my god. He'd take a chunk out of your mate. Oh, he's got something in his mouth, looks like a hook or definitely a hook. Yeah, he's got some silverware. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. He is large. Yes. <laughs> Man, that is awesome. That's cool. The rig we use here is the most simple and effective rig to use for targeting live bait off the boat. So, a bit of pre-trace, it's tied directly onto the braid. That comes down to our sinker. That slides above the swivel. Then from the swivel, onto your live bait. Although the signs were there, the switch was definitely off and we repeatedly dropped liveys and jigs, but nothing was interested in our offerings. It was now well into the afternoon and confidence was dwindling until finally I had an inquiry from something substantial. Yeah, we're on here, here we go. Oh! Barnstormer. Oh, he just pulled it. Oh! Oh, he's spat it. Yeah, he's spat it. He's back, he's back. Right on that sign, drop it down nine colours and bang, we're in. Oh. 90 metre sign. Whack, whack, whack. He's got it in his mouth. Gonna go up tight on him hard. And we're gonna load up on him. Here we go. Oh. Here we go. Loading up. Here we go. Loading up, Scotty. It's definitely Kings too. He doesn't oh. know he's hooked yet. You'll know in a minute. Can you long, Biggie? Yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's taking a little while. Believe it or not, this will be the first we get this fish in. It's the first fish of the day, and it's frickin' half past two. <laughs> yeah. And we've been up since 4.30. <laughs> You're right, Jared. it has been that. Well, like I say, it feels good to be hooked up. Oh, what's he up to? Could be a good one for a bit of kai, mate. Could be definitely one for a bit of kai, Migsy. Got a Christmas barbecue tomorrow, so we need it. Yeah, a bit of colour there. Oh, yeah, we got some colour. She's a haku. And we are going to take this fish because we want to eat her. Oh, it's a nice fish. Oh, mate. <laughs> what a soft fighting one. That's a mean fish. Oh, yeah, that is yeah, all good. He's, he's all sorts of good. He's not quite the challenge. Is he had well hooked there, oh. corner of the mouth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell? What a softy. What a softy, mate. Get him in, Migsy. Yeah, he's still keen. <laughs> All right. Oh, Kingy Owen. On the board, finally. Hey, finally. Ah, <laughs> that's a relief. That's a relief. Good stuff. That was a technique of just letting that uh, uh, reel and gear hold the rod tip nice and low, let that load up, and that's the result. Stunner. Not bad. Not bad. Good size. <laughs> but it's Kingy on the board, mate. Let's hope that's a sign of things to come. First drop for the spot. Exactly. So. Not quite the challenge size, but uh, like we say, Target species on the board, stoked. Oh, yep. Oh, oh, yep. oh. Yes, Michael. Yes, Michael. Woo! Oh, what have we got? Oh, don't know, mate. On the jig, finally. A little bit of a tussle. All right, Kega, is she leg? Oh, I don't know. I kind of would have thought it would be legal. This is a pretty beasty combo. Very beasty. Yeah, it's, it's like a gun to a knife fight. I would have thought illegal fish. Legal fish? Yeah, I'd say so. Oh, there's another one for the for the kaimoana, for the uh, barbecue. Oh, I'd say so, mate. <laughs> I was just about to drop back down, actually. Oh, yeah? I got the hit, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Seen the boat. Mmm, mine are down. Well, he's definitely legs. So I'm going yeah. to say he's a uh, 85 centimetres. Yeah, you just fought a little bit soft again. Maybe. That's like what they're doing at the that. spot, eh? Maybe we'll be able to land a donk then. Maybe. Oh, we've got to hook a donk first. Yeah. Oh, yeah, nice. Pretty oh, much, eh? Yeah, your legs. Good. Just a legal fish, yeah. Good stuff. Is that what we thought? All right, all right. Woo, it's dropping. Yeah, it's dropped. Yep. Yeah, it did come out. Good. There we go. Oh, sweet, man. 20 bucks says this king hits the deck. <laughs> Come on, we proved me wrong. 
All good. Like we were saying, that's a good eater. He's a nice, easy fillet size. And that's going to feed a lot of people. So. Ba boom. And as soon as it looked like the switch had been flicked on, it immediately flicked off again, so it was on to spot number 10 to try and turn things around. Well, everything's sort of flowed up a little bit, so we've pushed in. Ben's jumped in to see if he can find us some scollies. Oh, Scotty's having a little bit of a little bit of a moy up the front of the cabin, but we'll still throw a livey over. Got a little float there, so it's only about six metres deep, so we'll keep him up off the surface out of the weeds, and we'll see if that can produce something. Keep going for that challenge fish. All right, hopefully he swims nicely away from the boat, which looks like he is. Obviously, with that float there, we can see everything he does, and then if a kingy comes along, that float should either break away. Or, uh, or disappear under the water, so it's a nice, um, easy way of seeing what's going on. Oh yeah, freaking, absolutely freaking. There's a kingy on it, he's picked it up. He's running away, running away. Yep. Go on, boys. Who? Hey. Thank you, thank you. Here we go. What do we got? Are you on, Moosey? We're on, mate. I was having a snooze. You're having a, <laughs> having having a little kip. Oh. I think that's the first time I've um, slept in, on the entire seven years of filming. What do we got? Just a little king. Woo. Oh, nice. Just on the surf. On the float. On the float, oh, it might yeah. be legs. Yeah, he's legs. He's legs. He's a nice green. Nice fish. Green. Six metres of water. Let's come around that way. Oh. Coming on right. Oh, oh no, you slipped my life by chance. Live bait tank's open. Put the live bait tank. How's this bait bar treating you, Mick? Hey. Want a hand? A little foot spa for the day. This one's on the surf. Still see it in his mouth, go. eh? Probably swallow it, I think. Is he? Oh, I might have, yeah. Oh, he's in the bin. That's what we're talking about, though. Like. We're talking about getting one to... Nice there we go. Get one of those bloody showers as well. <laughs> 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 yeah, one of those showers. There you go, mate. Ride him. Ride him, cowboy. <laughs> he is swallowed. Oh, good stuff. Oh, man. <laughs> nice, bro. Oh, that's all good. Float yeah. with the tree. Yeah. Me. That's the second time so someone's good. had a sleep and we've caught a fish. <laughs> old Jowry behind the camera was sleeping on a whole mic, can you? And now I had a snooze and Mick gets How's a fish. That? How's what are we going to do? David, you're snoozing next, mate. <laughs> Go for a snooze. It's turn for a nap. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Oh. He's on the boat. Yay! Jet boy, there we go. Hot kettles for Hot water on the foot. Hot that's water. what it's all about. Oh, golly gosh. Yes. Got some soy and wasabi there, so we might even. Uh, Ooh, bit of sashimi. Afternoon tea. Sashimi. The day is still young, man. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> You're getting hit too, Mickey. Here we go, here we go. Yep. Ooh, whack, whack. They're on the hard chew. Finally, oh. are we going to say it? We'll give you a chop. Oh, he's on. Whoa. Are you on? Hit him, Mixie. Woohoo! Yay! Get him, mate, get him. Yes! All right. Yes! He's going to go gangbusters, I reckon, Mick. Challenge fish. Oh, some weight there. Challenge fish. Oh, no. It's a good amount of weight there, though. Oh, also, they're coming on the chew maybe in the late afternoon. Yep. Been a little while since the last one, eh, Ming? That's it, bro. Yeah, a bit of perseverance, eh? He's trying, trying to pull some string. I reckon he's about the size we'll of the last one. Drop the drag back a little bit. Don't need to go. Ooh. I'm out of your way, eh? Hey, yeah, yeah. Pull some string, brother. Did you do the back off the drag, or was it a good fish? Oh, I backed it off a little bit, but... Cool. These have got mad amounts of drag at oh, strike, yeah. so... That's our kingy line, really, really concentrated. And then just sitting underneath that bait line, all the way from about 50 metres down to 75. Then we've got about 20 metres of kingfish sign. Definitely feels like target species, yeah. It's been target species the whole time. I'm sure our underwater cameraman will let us know if, uh, <laughs> if it's a shark. Yeah, true that. <laughs> we'll hear a bit of a hoot through the old snorkel. <laughs> <laughs> You're a hoot. Hey. This one's Ooh. legs, as I'm sure he is. Oh, yeah, he looks like a good fish. Looks like a nice one. Yeah, Ooh, mean fish. A nice looking fish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, sick. That is not bad. Good size? He's a good size. A couple of wraps on the leader. I'll just pick the drag off. Oh. Yeah. yeah, boy! <laughs> <laughs> nice! Kingy's on! Kingy's on! Yeah, sick! Yeah, out it comes. Oh, but not quite the challenge size. 
But, man, not far off. Nice Ooh. fish. Still probably should have fought harder than that. Yeah. They're definitely not the hard fighting, hard fighting ones we know and love. But that is all good. When you're catching your target species, mate, no complaints. No complaints at all. So, pretty good. Give him a whack on the head, bleed him, and he'll be all sorts of good. And then we'll still drop down, though, even though we've got our kai, we're still going to try and get that challenge fish. If you can catch kingies and keep letting them go, because they doesn't matter what the depth is, they'll swim away strong as. So uh, a couple more drops, I reckon, and try and get that big boy. Why not? Oh, yep. Oh. <laughs> Come on, brother. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Scotty. Oh, yeah. Scotty. Get him, Scotty. Just can back that drag off because I hooked him quite high up. <laughs> the healing, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. yes. Newts, bro. Yeah, that was signed uh, up high, I think. Yeah, bro. The jig through. Right, good spotting. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, my jigs, eh? Whew. I got a drag pretty tight on this freaking thing, and he's just going for it. It was pretty tight before, bro, so it doesn't yeah, I need too much, and you hooked him up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go, bro. <laughs> oh, nice. Ah, yeah. This could be him, Michael. It I don't want to say it, though. I don't want to say it too soon. I've said it. You said it. Yeah. Pretty fortunate to be able to hook this uh, fish on this combo. It's probably one of the gruntiest combos on the boat. They're all pretty grunty, to be fair, but this one's uh, the big dog. Makaira spin on the CD fast jig rod. So, yeah, well and truly can, got some mega stopping power. Didn't need it on this occasion so much because I hooked him so uh, far up off the bottom, but had I hooked it near the bottom, it would have been a... A war, basically. <laughs> get in there, Migsy, get in there. Get in there, mate. What are we thinking? Is it knocking Ooh, on the door? Is it knocking? Is it knocking? Who knows? Oh, who kings? knows, eh? Hey? That's the thing. We've had some strange fight out of uh, these fish today. Yeah. Strange fights out of these fish, yeah, so. Well, by those ones, Dan, this one's well and truly the challenge fish, well, but it's, yeah, you the, I don't think the weight's there, eh? Right? I don't know. Yeah. I'll be happily surprised. How are we looking, Mig? Yeah, bro. Ooh. Looks very solid. They, they always, always look they big. They always look big, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's, he's a, a good fish. fish. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. a good fish. Ooh. Nice. It's a bit of a beast. All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Woo hey, another nice, nice one on the jig. Oh, crikey. There we go. Yeah, it's yeah, a stonker. It's not the challenge size, but he's a, uh, he'd be definitely fish of the day, I reckon. He's got that yeah. bit more length, a bit more girth. Yeah, a good bit of girth there. But yeah, stoked. There it is on the jig, eh? Yeah, Catching them on lowies is fun, but when you come up tight on a jig, that's pretty hard to beat. Oh, there he is. Yeah, that's a good fish. That's a fatty. <laughs> yes. Getting towards sunset as well, so. See the colours on them. Quite a light fish, because they're living over the deeper reefs, but. Yeah, it's got some weight there. It's a mean fish. Absolutely stoked with that. It's been a hard day, Mixie, but uh, we've persevered. And when that guy comes up, right at the end of the day, there are zero complaints from me. Back in the drink. Yeah, there he goes. Too easy. Too easy, Mixie. Sharp, bro. Nice, bro. Mean. Oh, well. What a day. What a day. In Good to end it on a decent fish. Absolutely. Ooh. But that's not quite the end, is it? Because uh, that no challenge fish for me. You get one? Nah. You make it? The double, minute. double Connie. Oh, it's better than doing one by myself, I can tell you that much. <laughs> oh, let's go back and get that sorted yeah, then, eh? May as well, mate. All right, let's go. Hammer down. Oh. Oh, get that shell out of there. Punch him with shell in there. Easily pissed. Do we need to give them a stir? Oh. No. <laughs> it looks quite funny with that. Far the out. <laughs> oh. Look at it.
Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It'll really help us grow this channel and bring you guys way more content. And if you want to score some of our epic FANZ merch, then click the link in the description below, grab yourself a tea and a hat, and uh, we'll catch you on the next adventure.